All right, so we're going to go through the assembly of a Legends Ultimate Pixelcade marquee. And this would be for the unassembled version. So if you got the assembled version, you can skip all of this. So let's just go through all of our parts here. So we've got these laser cut mounts. Um, this is actually the front. And the one where you see all the text and labels on it is the back mount. Got our LED panels ourselves. Got our pixel controller board here. A um, couple ribbon cables, power cable. We've got a bunch of hardware over here that we're going to use to attach all this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Gently tear off the backing, the masking tape. Okay, so let's just... If you tear it off kind of slowly, it comes off easier. Like this. And this back piece that I'm doing, you, you could actually leave this on because this is going to be on the back and no one's going to see it. But I like to just take it off. So that's that. This front piece, um, I'm going to leave this on right now. I would recommend to do this at the end because this is the part that's on the front. And the bad thing about acrylic is it scratches pretty easily. So let's just leave this on until we're ready to use it. So let's set that aside. So let's go ahead and flip this guy over. And you want to start with the part that has all of this text. So um, what we're going to do now is first step is we have three zip ties. And you're going to see some labels here, zip tie, zip tie, zip tie. So just take these three zip ties and just string them through like this. And these are going to help us with our cable management. Once we have everything plugged in, we're going to use the zip ties to make our cables a little bit neater. And that's one. And the last one here. All right, so we got our three zip ties. Just make them even. Um, next thing we'll do is we're going to take these four nylon machine screws right here. They're kind of hard to see since they're see-through. And we're going to go to the underside of this mount and just put them like this. And then we'll take our black little hex nut there and just screw it on and you can just hand tighten this I have a little tool here that makes it a little bit faster and this doesn't need to be super tight okay so let's just repeat that three more times So that's done. So next step is we're going to attach the LED panels themselves. So let's grab our two panels here. One, two. And go ahead and flip the panel over. And then look on the panel, you're going to see these little up arrows. So you just want to make sure the arrow is pointing up. You don't want it like this. And so we're just going to take this, lift this guy up, and just line up the holes like so. And the nice thing about these is there's actually a little notch right here and right here. And you'll kind of feel it snap in and then you know, you can just look at the holes too visually that you're lined up. So let's do the same thing on this side. snap in so that tells us that everything is lined up as it should be and now just take any Phillips screwdriver here and we're just going to take these um, machine screws these I, I normally try to ship some extra ones in case you lose them so but if you happen to lose the extra ones too they're m3 by 8 uh, that's metric machine screws so m3 by 8 
So this is uh, just screw them all in. I think there's 12 total. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we got all this done. Let's just flip it over just to have a quick look. So this looks fine. All right, so now what we want to do is attach our board. So let's go ahead and get the board out. So this is the board that ships with it. And this actually might not already be attached, so let's just leave that for the side for a second. And um, the board also has an SD card here. And this card may also come in this little container. So just take this out, pop in the card, save this, because you're gonna need this if you ever need to upgrade the firmware or the image. And then what we're gonna do is on the board you see we have our USB pointing this way and there's a little USB text right here. So just line it line it up and just go ahead and plop it on like so. A little bit of a tight fit so you may have to kind of press it on there. Okay. And then just take those same nylon screws and let's just attach them. This last one's a little tricky just because there's just not that much room. So if you don't want to put this last one on because it's a little hard, don't worry about it because the board's already nice and secure. Okay. Okay, so we got our board on. As you can see, it's nice and sturdy not going to go anywhere. Then take this little um, power switch shunt and just plug it in here. Very important if you don't do that the board's not going to turn on so that's um, critical. And then now we're going to take our um, ribbon cables. So the first ribbon cable is going to go from here to here and then these ribbon cables are notched. So the cool thing about that is there's no way to put it in the wrong way because it only goes in one way. So let's do one here. And then let's do one here. So one end's going to go to the board. And the other end is going to go to the first connector over here. Okay, and then this one you can just kind of bend it down like so. Alright, so next is our power cable. And so this power cable is going to have two connectors like this. this. These are the power connectors for the LED panels. These are also notched, so it only goes in one way. So one end here, one end here. Okay. And then on the other end of this power cable, you want the male connector. So this one is going to plug into the board, like so. And then this other end is going to plug into our 5 volt power supply. So here's our 5 volt power supply. It ships with a kit. Um, very important that you don't plug in 12 volts because everything on this uh, Pixelcade runs on 5 volts and if you add 12 volts to 5 volts basically you're going to fry everything. It's, it's, gonna, it's not going to blow up but it's going to burn out and it won't work. So um, don't make that mistake. I've had a couple guys do that. So very very important. Only plug 5 volts into this. Just use the same power supply that ships with it. That's the best way to go. Um, all right, so now that we've got everything hooked up, let's just do a quick test. So I'm in my shop here, so I have some same five volts ready, so I'm just gonna use this guy. Um, you'll see a little red light, so you know the board's got power. And flip it over, 
and we'll be displaying um, the default animation that comes with the board. So we see it, so everything is good. Let's go ahead and unplug it. And now it's just a matter of tidying up these cables. So let's just go here and go like so. I always like to have this kind of in the middle. So something like this I think is going to work. Alright, looking good. So now the the last step actually is we're going to attach these little hex stands. These are what is going to allow us to connect the front piece uh, to this guy. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. So let's take our um, hex stands and then you'll see on the back there's actually a little label. So it says hex stand. So that tells you that the outer one the outer hole, because these other holes are actually for mounting the the, uh, the marquee to your legends. So we're just going to go like this, um, put it like so, and just attach this from the back. And this one you actually want to be pretty tight. Okay, so just repeat this on each side. Okay, so that is the back piece. Now when I ship when I ship this thing, I actually ship it just like this. I don't ship it um, with this attached. So when you get it, you're actually going to get um, like this. So when you get it, just peel off the masking tape on both sides like we did before. And so for the moment, just pretend that this is peeled off. And then when you get it, you're just going to simply go like this. And then got these four little thumb screws here. And so just take each one and just screw it in here. And again, I'm not, I'm not going to repeat this, um, but you get the idea. So just take these four, go well, let's just do one more in the corner here. So you can see how it looks when it's all together. Okay, so I'm going to be lazy and skip two of them, but basically, here it is. So this back part here is going to mount, so let's say back part like right here. This is going to mount um, flush against your Legends Ultimate uh, marquee opening. Um, the marquee opening has a little oval, so basically all this electronics here is going to squeeze through that oval, so that's going to go all the way through, and then you're going to attach it um, with these little screw holes here. So when you install this in your legends actually you don't want this piece already on it so what you want to do is have this be off like so and then pop this in the back of your cab mount it and then basically you're going to screw it in to these holes here and that's how you're going to attach it then once it's attached then go ahead and put this guy on so that's the sequence. So if you happen to be using Bluetooth and you need to do one last step, and that is take the Bluetooth dongle that ships with the kit and simply plug that in to the USB port right here. 
Okay, so that's how ah, my glare is terrible. That's how how that will look with um, the dongle plunked in. And then the other thing you have to do, this is very important, is on the board you're going to see a little label here, this this little toggle switch, and one side of it says USB, the other side of it says BT for Bluetooth. So if you're using the Bluetooth dongle, flip it and have it point to BT. If you don't do that, unfortunately the Bluetooth won't work. If you're using USB, put it back to USB, and then we're not using the dongle, just unplug the dongle. And rather than, you're just going to take this USB cable. This is called the USB A to A cable because it's got this same connector. Well, maybe hard to see through the plastic, but this connector on both sides. So one end is going to go into the board. The other end is going to go into your PC or your Raspberry Pi. Um, we ship this with a 10 foot cable, so there should be plenty of room to get to your device wherever it's mounted in your cab. So I believe that is it. Um, thanks for checking out this video. I'll talk to you later.